Good morning and welcome to the Benefits of Chew Valley East for morning prayer on Sunday the 11th of December 2022. That's the third Sunday of Advent. If you wish to join in the service then the words in bold are said together and we'll say the Psalms and Canticles together as well. And you can download the service from the lakeside.roop.org website. And then you can either print it off or read it on screen. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 146, verses 4 to 10. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps his promise for ever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign for ever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 35, verses 1 to 10. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are fearful of heart, Be strong, do not fear, here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and it will be called the Holy Way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveller, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away.
our Old Testament cancer call, is also from Isaiah 35. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not, your God is coming with judgment. Coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. Our second reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, it's chapter 11, and it's verses 2 to 11. And it reflects the fact that this third Sunday of Advent is the Sunday on which we focus on John the Baptist. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word by his disciples and said to Jesus, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered him, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet. Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly, I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Our responsory is taken from Romans 13. Now it is time to wake out of sleep. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us, therefore, cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. The Benedictus Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. 
and you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. In our prayers of intercession, to the words, Rejoice, the Lord is here, please respond, Come, Lord Jesus. Rejoice, the Lord is near, come, Lord Jesus. Liberating God, we rejoice in your freedom and our hearts sing for joy in your salvation. Open our lips to proclaim your Son that your church throughout the world may be bold in its proclamation, in its praise, and in the way it lives. May it be countercultural where that is required. May it work for peace in places of war. May it stand up for the rights of those whom you championed, those that we count as the outcast, those that we count as the stranger, those that we see as the poor. Inspire your church to delight in your presence. Rejoice, the Lord is near. Come, Lord Jesus. Eternal Lord, you rule over the heavens and the earth. Transform our politics, that all may have cause to rejoice and celebrate the fulfilment of your promises. When it comes to politics, we cannot not pray for peace, for peace between the nations and amongst nations. Pray peace in particular between Russia and Ukraine, that there may be a stop to this aggression, that there may be a rethink on all sides, that there may be a way forward that brings dignity and integrity to all. And still, Lord, stir up every nation to honour the dignity of all people. Rejoice, the Lord is near. Come, Lord Jesus. God of justice, as we look to celebrate again the birth of your Son, increase within us your compassion and mercy for all who are hungry, excluded or on the margins of our society. And at this time, when the weather is getting colder, when Christmas is coming and people are feeling the pinch even more than perhaps at other times of the year. We pray for all those in our society, in our community, in our nation and in our villages who are struggling financially in any kind of way, struggling to find a home, struggling to keep warm, struggling to feed themselves and their families. Help us, Lord, to find the ways to share equally and to get the resources to those who have the most need. And at this time we also must not forget those other parts of the world where these struggles are every day and have been ongoing every day for a long time. We pray again that all might share equally and support each other. May your promises be shown in deed as well as word. Rejoice. The Lord is near. Come, Lord Jesus. God of healing and hope, be with all whose hands and limbs are swollen with arthritis or whose abilities are restricted. We pray for all who are struggling in any kind of way, struggling mentally, physically, economically, spiritually. We pray for those who are waiting for beds, waiting for medical attention. We pray for those who are concerned because they haven't yet had a diagnosis. We pray for all who are alone and frightened at this time. Refresh all who ache for relief from their sufferings. Rejoice, the Lord is near. 
Come, Lord Jesus. Lord of life and love, in your Son you bring salvation. Sustain children who mourn parents and all whose hearts grieve. May the good news of the sun rising in glory fill our hearts with joy. Rejoice, the Lord is near. Come, Lord Jesus. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for the Third Sunday of Advent. God, for whom we watch and wait, you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way of your Son. Give us courage to speak the truth, to hunger for justice, and to suffer for the cause of right. With Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.